When I first started whitewater kayaking, I was only eight years old. Every time that I was told I was going on the river, I felt extremely scared. I got nervous and I felt sick every single time until I got on the river. Once I was on the river, I still felt nervous, but I loved the sport and I continued to kayak. This continued up until the summer after grade nine. I had signed up for a whitewater camp out in Ottawa where I spent two weeks being taught by professionals. When I came back from this camp, I had become a much better kayaker and I didn't feel as nervous every time I got on the river, but I still get scared. And without that feeling of fear, things would be much different. Now, BC has the best whitewater in the world and I'm a skilled kayaker, kayaking class four to four plus rivers. For reference, there's only five classes of rivers that you can actually kayak. Whenever rivers are running, you can find me on any of the steep creeks and rivers in Whistler and the North Shore. Here's an idea of what that's like.
Now I want to talk about fear and how, over the course of high school, I have managed to work my way around the fear that comes with kayaking, as well as how I've harnessed it and used it to my advantage. Fear is an emotional response of the body telling us that something is dangerous or unsafe. But how have I overcome fear? The simple answer is, I haven't. You need fear to keep you in check, but there are ways to see past fear. Over the course of high school, which is where my ability has improved the most, I have found that these are some of the best ways to work through fear. The first is to put trust into you and your skills, as well as the people around you, and trust their opinions and judgment. Trust that you have prepared for the possibilities of risks on the river by taking swift water rescue courses and wilderness first aid courses, and know that the people around you have done the same. Second is to practice. Kayaking requires lots of different skills, ranging from knowing how to roll your kayak to learning how to read the movement of a river, as well as knowing all the different kinds of paddle strokes. The most crucial of those is learning how to read a river, knowing how to break down a rapid into its smaller sections and analyzing those sections in order to find the safest line through is key. Learning the movement of the river and how it may lead you towards hazards is very important. If there is a big hazard in a rapid such as a log jam or an undercut that you need to avoid, you need to think. How confident am I in making this one specific move and those moves leading up to that move that will keep me out of the way? If you don't feel confident in each and every one of those moves that you have to make, that's when you know you can back out. Kayaking is all about stepping out of your comfort zone. You will never know what your skills will let you do unless you try harder rivers or even as a start, just run that rapid that you might normally walk around but there's a fine balance between pushing yourself and then doing something stupid. And that's where fear comes in. Fear makes you second guess your decisions and makes you really think about what you are doing and if it's good or not. Don't be afraid to back out. Know that most of the time you have a choice. Finally, looking at the consequences. Being able to assess what might go wrong and how to stop that from happening is a very large part of kayaking. Along with that comes knowing when to back out. Being able to tell yourself, this rapid will be here another day, I'll walk around for now. When looking at a rapid, if I am so scared that I can't think about what I need to do, that's when I know I should back out. Sometimes, if the people around me are confident in my skills and are encouraging me to try, and I'm not as scared as I would normally be, that's when I'll go for it. This comes back to trusting those around you as well as your own skills. All in all, fear is what can scare us away, it tries to discourage us, but by being able to keep a clear mind and think only about what you need to do step by step, fear is just something that motivates me to try harder and to try and finally break through a new wall in my confidence as a whitewater kayaker. Thank you.